name is Agnes, and this is Julia. We're your nurses today. We're going to take care of you. Hi there. Georgia Trauma Team Leader. What's oh. happening? This 67-year-old man has been in a serious car crash and has no vital signs. Feel a pulse. Do okay. Do you feel a pulse? Okay. There's no he pulse. He seems to be in a rest. His life hangs on what this team of nurses and doctors can do. Luckily, today it's not do or die, as Sunnybrook staff and medical students train their smarts on this dummy. It's all part of educational programming here at Sunnybrook, which housed the first simulation centre in Canada. About 1,500 learners from a variety of disciplines play out these scenarios every year. But make no mistake, the breathing, moaning and bleeding make it all very realistic. Simulation coordinator Agnes Rosinski says there are a lot of benefits to this type of training. The learners don't have to worry about any, uh, anything that could potentially happen to the mannequin. We reset him. It's a safe environment. They can feel comfortable. Every scenario is videotaped behind a double-sided mirror and reviewed by the team in a debriefing room next door to help learn from what went right and wrong. It's an approach that's been applied to aviation for years, so why not medicine? This is a stage and you can really put anything on it that we want. So depending on the educational needs of the learners coming, we tailor the scenario towards those individuals. Sunnybrook has two full body mannequins and a number of so-called part task trainers, body parts like airways and arms to help train for specific tasks. Things look so human, you almost have to look twice. So when the real situation happens, healthcare providers are ready the first time. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.